Hello friends, I am Jishu Baiju, working as an assistant professor in Biani group of colleges. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on respiratory system uh, on behalf of Guru KPU. So let us see what is respiratory system. Respiratory system include respiration that is exchange of gases. There are two phases in the respiration that is internal respiration and the external respiration. In external respiration air collects from outside the environment and get it into the lungs and in internal respiration there is exchange of gases between blood and tissues that blood gives up the carbon dioxide into the tissues. Now let's see the air or passage organs in the respiratory system nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi and bronchioles. Let's see the first part that is nose. Nose is the external part which connects the body to the internal organs. It collects the air and it passes through the nasal cavity and uh, passes to the lungs. Now it is made up of cartilages and bones. There are many cartilages uh, like alar cartilages, major alar cartilages and septal cartilages. Bones like nasal bones which prepare the bridge of the nose and frontal maxillary bones. Now region, there are three regions which are present in the nasal cavity that is vestibuli, olfactory region and the respiratory region. In vestibuli there are many vibrisses are present which makes the air which are entering humidifying and warmth or filter the air from the dust particles. Olfactory region there are having that upper part upper one third part of the nasal cavity is having olfactory receptor which helps in the olfaction. Respiratory region there are mucous membrane which secrete mucus and uh, makes the air warm up and humidify. There are many sinuses which are present in the nasal cavity which uh, extend the air, uh, the air sacs or the bones which extend towards the skull and it contains air so uh, the function of the sinuses are to make the skull light and uh, it consists of mucous membrane which secrete mucus and warmth and humidifying the air. The sinuses are paranasal sinuses, uh, ethmoidal sinuses, phenoid sinuses, maxillary sinuses. Now, a function of the nose. There are many functions of the nose mainly olfaction, uh, voice resonance, making air conditioning of the uh, uh, air conditioning next uh, air conditioning of the inspired air mm, then uh, the re in res mainly in the respiration. The second part is pharynx. Pharynx consists of three parts that is nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx. The pharynx, the part of pharynx which connected to the nose that is known as nasopharynx. It is present just above the soft palate and it consists of uh, uh, nasopharyngeal tonsils. Uh, the second one is the oropharynx. It is just present below the soft palate and it is a part between the nasopharynx and the laryngopharynx through which a large amount of air enter into the body. A laryngopharynx also consists of a collection of lymphoid tissues which gives protection to the body that is known as palat palatine tonsils. Third part is laryngopharynx. The part of the pharynx which connected to the larynx is known as laryngopharynx. It is present anteriorly to the larynx and inferiorly it is connected to the esophagus. Last topic is about function, function of the pharynx. First function is passage of air and food. Second is it consists of many lymphoid tissues. It give protection to the body, especially the lower part of the respiratory system. And it, uh, it is also helps in a, to collect a large amount of air to get into the body. The third part is larynx. It is also known as voice box. It is a common organ for respiration as well as food passages. It is made up of cartilage muscles, fibrous tissues and membranes. There are three types of cartilages. Uh, three are unpaired cartilages and three paired cartilages which make the complete larynx. The larynx is made up of cartilages. The first one cartilage is thyroid cartilages. It is the largest cartilages and it anteriorly it form a lamina. The lamina which makes 90 degree uh, in male and 120 degree in female. So laryngeal prominence is protruded in male so it, it is known as Adam's apple which makes males uh, sound little bit broader. Now it is uh, the posterior part of the thyroid cartilages is uh, superiorly protruded so that is known as superior horn and inferiorly which is projected that is known as inferior horn. Now next is cricoid cartilages. Cricoid cartilages is a ring shaped hyaline cartilages. It, uh, it inferior part it made up of inferior horn which is articulate with the cricoid cartilages. Now next is it anteriorly it forms arch and posteriorly it is broad in structure. Next part is epiglottis. 
Epiglottis is elastic in nature and it is a leaf like structure which uh, work as a lid like during the food passages it, it close the larynx uh, and during the air passages it close the esophagus. Now the paired cartilages which is uh, made up of uh, which prepare the larynx first one is arytenoid. It is pyramidal shape and the base of the arytenoid articulates with the cricoid cartilage. The apex of the arytenoid cartilages point upward. There are two processes which are present in the arytenoid cartilage that is vocal and muscular processes. Now the second one is um, cuneiform cartilages, third one is the corniculate cartilages. There are two, there are fold of mucous membrane which are present on the base of the articulate arytenoid cartilages, anteriorly it forms the cuneiform cartilages, posteriorly it forms the corniculate cartilages. Now next is the function of larynx. The main function of larynx is the sound production. It gives the voice resonance, pitch of the sound and especially uh, helps in speech. It also protects the lower respiratory region of the uh, uh, respiratory system uh, from the infection. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe our Guru KPO channel. Thank you.